So, you know what they say, if you can't take the heat, then get out of the kitchen. And that is the case for a new show premiering this Sunday on Food Network. 24 and 24 Last Chef Standing is an intense culinary battle between the best of the best from across the country. And a local chef will be competing for a chance to win the grand prize. I recently met up with him at his Spring Garden restaurant to dish it out. Take a look. You are about to participate in one of the most ambitious culinary experiments ever imagined. Food Network's new series, 24 and 24, Last Chef Standing, is an intense cooking battle that includes 24 chefs facing 24 culinary challenges in 24 straight hours. This is a test of all the skills that we have to have to do what we do. It's insanity, complete insanity. I've done a ton of Food Network shows at this point. Be Bobby Flay, Chop, Food Network Star, all these other ones. It's definitely the craziest I've ever, uh, ever filmed, ever seen. He said it himself. Philadelphia chef Chad Rosenthal is a Food Network OG. I know Chad can make some fried chicken. I got to do something to distract the judges. Make sure you season it, Bobby. And now he's putting his skills to the test on Last Chef Standing, hoping to win the grand prize of $50,000. In the first show that you're gonna see Sunday night, um, it, it's a skill competition of speed in the kitchen. So, um, you know, it's uh, 24 chefs, chopping, cutting, peeling, that's all I'll say. Chad owns Rosie's and Mary restaurants in Ambler, but his latest establishment is the Lucky Well Incubator in Spring Garden. As the guest, you walk in the door and uh, you sit down and you can order from four concepts, barbecue, seafood, pizza, and ta Spanish tapas and paella and a, and a great cocktail bar. Um, but those chefs uh, are given an opportunity for four months to kind of uh, showcase what they have. Why not give an opportunity to these people that are still trying to get a space, to try to get a brick and mortar, a food truck. Um, and I can step back and just manage the business. This is from the Lucky Well menu, which is barbecue. Um, and um, we really specialize on Memphis style barbecue, which is like dry rub barbecue. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna show you a couple things. Yeah. Then I'm gonna let you cut the ribs. I can't believe you're trusting me with a knife. This is great. Yeah, Do you well, see this, like Mom? I said, I got my, <laughs> My dullest one. A staple on the menu is the Alabama white chicken. So that's uh, Alabama white barbecue sauce. And people from up east are like, what the heck's a white, yeah. white barbecue sauce? That's exactly what it is. It's a mayo-based barbecue sauce um, with a lot of citrus in it and horseradish um, mm -hmm. and spices. We literally dunk it like oh, that. Oh, you're soaking that bad boy. Look at that. Oh, that's good. Yeah. It's got this tanginess to it. Yeah, so that's, I like that's that. citrus, and that's horseradish, and uh, a lot of vinegar. And it wouldn't be barbecue without some spare ribs. This is a St. Louis cut pork spare rib. Yeah. So what I do is I put my, my knife down, mm -hmm. and I chop, and then I chop, and then I chop. Gotcha. I, look how pretty Ooh. the inside of that is. Oh, it's juicy. So this force. Yep. Oh, there you go. All right. Watch your finger. You're scaring me. Force. There you go. That's perfect. Right, it's turning. You Force. see how it's turning? Oop. No, you're <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. All right. There you go. All right. Oh, the flip. This uh -oh. is it. Here, I gotta this is the flip, flip them too. Ooh. So it's like a slow flip. You don't. It's just in like. All right. Okay. We can do it. We can do you it. We can it. do it. We can do it. Boom. Hey. How'd I do? The dry rub. Dry rub. Little dry rub. Just call me Salt Bay. Beautiful. <laughs> salt Bay. Yeah. <laughs> Let me take my gloves off gloves for off this. Gloves off to eat. Yeah. I need to feel the food, you know what I mean? Oh man. What do you think? Oh, these are good. They're like come off the bone, but not fall off the bone. Yeah, it's tender. The flavor, the smokiness. Mm -hmm. mm. It's juicy. Honestly though, Chef, like this food here is so good. I can see why you are a Food Network OG. Well, thank you. You did the thing, man. Appreciate it, thanks so much. That food was so good. Uh, my producers in my ear telling me I could go for a whole rack of those. I know you can too. <laughs> so if you want, the Lucky Well Incubator is open Wednesdays through Sundays. Their current menu is available through June 30th, and then they're going to have a new menu unveil after that. So you can see Chef Chad Rosenthal compete on 24 and 24 Last Chef Standing this Sunday night at 8 p.m. on Food Network.